Welcome back. In the construction of the Old West, workers relied on materials found close to home. When trees weren't available, rocks filled the need. Jack Sutton has the story of the granite on the windy slopes of the Toyabe Range in tonight's Nevada Backroads. There was a time when hammers and chisels challenged the rocks that lie atop Austin's summit. A time when stonemasons ascended these mountains to claim the granite that would build a town. Back in the day, it was the, the, the rock outcrops that were originally here. They used uh, the granite outcrops to quarry the stone to build the buildings. These here are samples of the two rocks that, you, that the old timers would be looking at. This rock here would be no good for building, whereas this rock would be ideal for building. The matrix of this rock is very open and porous and it would crack and break real easy. This rock here is much tighter, much harder, and it would withstand the pressures and last much longer. From local rocks, craggy, irregular, and weathered, stonemasons created smooth shapes, first seen by the mind's eye. They didn't use a lot of lumber to build out in this area because when they were building these buildings, it was in the 1800s, and lumber mills and, and a good source of lumber was hundreds of miles away, and it was easier just to use the native material that was on site. A century from now, the wooden frames and buildings will change, except for the piles of rocks the stonemasons have arranged. It's a really solid building material and it uh, would last longer than concrete. Reporting atop Austin Summit, Jack Sutton, Channel 2 News.